Yeah, so again, first pitch, 307. Game four will also be here tomorrow at Target Field. And if we have a fifth game at all, hopefully not, fingers crossed, then it will be on Friday down in Houston. Guys. All right, bring it on, Houston. Thank you, CC. On the field, a pair of Twins Hall of Famers will be a part of today's ceremonial first pitch. Johan Santana will toss it out with Joe Maurer behind the plate. Then for game four, the special guests are Gary Gaetti and Dan Gladden, who you might know were part of the Twins World Series runs back in 87 and 91. For all things Twins related, including the full ALDS schedule, you can text the word TWINS to 763-797-7215 and we'll text you back a link. Remember, text that number. Please do not call it. Well, turning gears now to the latest in the Middle East. Just into the newsroom, Israel's defense forces say 124 of their soldiers have been killed since Hamas invaded the country on Saturday. We're also learning the terrorist group is threatening to start executing captives if Israel bombs civilians in Gaza. You're just taking a live picture now. Look at the live picture now from Gaza, where Israel is increasing its airstrikes after cutting off the Gaza Strip's access to food, fuel, and other supplies. Eva's at the live desk with the very latest. The death toll has now exceeded 1,500, and Israel is going full force with their plan to destroy Hamas. They've activated 300,000 reserve military members and are aiming airstrikes at Hamas command centers in Gaza. New video from overnight shows Hamas militants throwing grenades into bomb shelters and shooting near cars in a music festival in Israel. We've seen some of the images from that festival already. This is new overnight. Many were captured and killed there, and the hostage crisis is growing. As Israel aims to fully invade the Gaza Strip, Hamas has vowed to start killing hostages if those airstrikes continue. And the White House is sending military support and hostage recovery experts. The U.S. says Americans may be among the more than 100 hostages, and 11 Americans have been killed in the conflict so far. Biden will be delivering remarks at noon. Back to you. All right, Eva, thank you very much. And while people with families near Gaza anxiously await for news, some Israelis in the U.S. are trying to get back to their homeland. Ken Ezra was visiting relatives in Minnetonka when the attack took place, and he's having trouble finding a flight back home. He says his mother, Sherry, is safe for now because she's in northern Israel, away from the fighting. But he hasn't heard from friends who were at the music festival near Gaza when it was overrun by Hamas fighters. One close friend, that seven friends that have been missing since the attack at the music festival. And there is no sleep, there is no flights back at home. Ezra said one of his brothers is stranded in Texas trying to get back to his Israeli army unit. Another brother in Israel has been called up by the military in response to the attacks. Now to some local headlines. This morning, the president of a high-profile personal injury law firm is facing charges in a hit-and-run crash that injured a construction worker. 64-year-old James Patrick Carey of Edina is president and managing partner of Stephen Carey Law Firm. Prosecutors say he was drunk last Friday when he hit a construction worker on Interstate 35 in Pine County, then drove off. The 27-year-old victim was taken to the hospital. He's expected to be okay. New video this morning shows the destruction after a devastating fire tore through a popular restaurant in Randall, Minnesota. The Morrison County Sheriff's Office says it started just after 6 Sunday morning before the Stone Hill and Bar and Grill was open. As you can see, the building is destroyed. The State Fire Marshal's office right now is investigating the cause of that fire. Amazon's Prime, Amazon Prime's Big Deal Days is happening right now. For the last six hours, new deals have been updating every five minutes. Right now, you can get a Vitamix blender for 45% off. And some Dyson products, including fans and vacuums, are up to 47% off. We are live tracking new deals throughout the show. The sale runs today and tomorrow. And I personally am a little underwhelmed. Yeah, scroll through it's during the commercial it, break yeah. and it's, I, I, you know, okay. some nice headphones and some yeah. tech things here and there, but not for me. Yeah, if you need a new TV, like, cool, good for you. I'm still not spending, what, $190 on a blender, sorry. No. Right, or a fancy vacuum, but Ugh. more power to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go no for it. No hate if you enjoy your fancy vacuums. Follow your dreams. <laughs> 608 here this Follow morning. <laughs> Put Bounty on there for sale. Come on. That's what I'm looking for is the necessities. What well, are you looking for? Bounty? Like the, the quicker picker upper? Or to anything like toiletries, toilet paper. Like that's the stuff I buy on Amazon, you know, like, oh, I want Crest, you know? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I use it for. 
Oh, oral water okay. pick I found go. out is on sale. That is fantastic. All right. <laughs> Um, oh man, how many times do you buy? I buy floss like once every nine years. All right, chilly start here today. We are dealing with very comfortable afternoon temperatures, but cool mornings. This is when I think of fall. This is the exact day that I think of today in your brain. This is what I think of. You go outside, you're chilly afternoon, all of a sudden it's hot. So that's what we're dealing with. Then we also got to talk about rain. Fall, besides days like today, it is very common to have washouts, and I think we're going to have one, unfortunately, coming up here later in the week. So we are dealing with the frost advisory south, uh, pretty much cut in half. When you look at the north side of Minneapolis, where that's where we're dealing with freeze warnings, Brainerd, Bemidji, Grand Rapids. And we are actually verifying some of these now with temperatures showing up below freezing. The Twin Cities, this is, uh, I haven't, I've, I've been watching the flowers and I'm watching the plants. Nope, I haven't seen any heavy frost. So let's call this a light frost. Osceola, that might be more of a heavy frost. St. Cloud 33 might actually wake up to some frost on your grass up there. But here's where you're seeing the 20s, 29 in Bemidji and 30 in Brainerd. Another failed freeze for the North Shore because of cloud cover, right? There's no way you could be at 45 in Duluth and 29 in Bemidji without clouds, but it shows you the, how valuable those things are in the morning because it's it literally is like a blanket. It will hold you much warmer and you don't need sun. If the clouds come over you, you will immediately warm up. The, it's literally, ref, what am I doing here? It's gonna reflect the actual warmth back down to the surface and it does warm you up. So a little cloud cover, holding some places warmer. Twin Cities, we know we have the chilly start. Twins, phenomenal afternoon. I mean, this is, you cannot draw up a better baseball day, I don't think. So it's going to be great. I cannot wait for that. Now we'll talk about that washout potential. Thursday, I think you're solid first half of the day. Second half of the day, it gets a little dicey. Rain comes in, but I don't think it gets really heavy until we get into Friday. You see the really intense marks here come in. That's Friday midday. I think Friday, we got to expect rain, especially the southern half of Minnesota and Wisconsin. So I think Minneapolis down through La Crosse would be my bullseye for this. And we are looking at quite a bit of rain here. It looks like Friday is the day and models are pumping out two to four inches of rain with this on the high side. So I think at this point, you can see where it's bullseye at, like I said, Twin Cities to Rochester and Mankato, but you got to prepare for at least an inch. You know, I'd say it's a 90% chance of rain on Friday. And I think those percentages keep just climbing. So prepare for that after two amazing days here and we'll slowly warm things up at the end of the weekend.